Clothing can say a lot about a person, and sometimes we want to change that in our photographs. Today we're going to show you how to do it in Photoshop using artificial intelligence. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to use Photoshop to change clothing. Let's jump in. So here we are with our first image. You can see our subject looks great. I really like this photo and we have a real casual look with this USA shirt and some cutoff shorts. Now the first thing we want to do, we're going to go right up here to where it says select a subject in our contextual taskbar. Now we've selected our entire subject as you can see, all of our subject is selected. We're going to go ahead and grab our lasso tool. L for the lasso tool. We're just going to use the regular lasso tool. I'm going to hold Alt or Option, which is going to make a minus lasso. And we're just going to select basically like all of our subject. There we go. I can do this in a couple steps. So we're going to do this left side. And then we're going to go ahead right down here and minus this selection out. This is basically me saying I want to keep these areas of the photo, like our subject's head and arms. We want to keep that. Now I'm going to hold shift and this is going to allow me to add to my selection and we're just going to come right down here and then kind of go in this direction. So we basically selected our subjects clothing with a little bit of an extra space there and then I've added some space here on the left and the right. So let's go ahead and click on generative fill and I'm just going to type in dress. There we go. Dress and hit generate. The idea being that the dress hopefully is going to fill this area for our subject. Now this being AI, we're going to have a ton of different variations and we can make as many as we'd like. All right, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. It just takes a second to generate through the internet. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Look at this. We have a few different options of our subject now wearing a dress. That's super cool. Now you can click here on generate and it's going to go ahead and make a few more generations for us. You can do this as many times as you'd like. You can even type in more specific things like if you want a particular style of clothing, you can type that in and it'll generate that style. All right, let's see. It's almost done generating here and we have a few different options. That looks kind of fancy. I, I dig this. All right, let's go with that option. So we're going to go back to our layers and just take out here's our before and our after. Again, it's our same exact subject, obviously. It's just a different piece of clothing on our subject and it has a very different feel to the photograph. All right, let's move into our next example here. We are on clothing change 02. And in this case, our subject looks really, really good. Um, let's just say your client says, ah, maybe we don't want their midriff showing. Well, we're going to just select this area here again. I'm just using the lasso tool in this case, L for the lasso tool. There we go. Let's make sure and select it all the way there. And I'm going to give a little bit more space down there. Okay. And we're just going to click on generative fill and I'm going to type in shirt. There we go and click on generate. So you can select specific areas of your image and then tell it what you would like to be in those cases. And I'm hoping it's just going to make the shirt longer, maybe tuck it into the jeans. There we go. <laughs> it did exactly what we wanted it to. It even added a thumb there. Uh, <laughs> let's click on generate one more time to see what we're going to get over here. This is a little bit weird, uh, but we can definitely just select that and regenerate that area if we need to. All right. This is so, so cool. There we go. We have a few different options here. And all right. I think of all of them, this, uh, yeah, this, this looks pretty natural. I, I, I like that look pretty well. Well, I don't like that the thumb is visible there. Now, if we have an area like this where it's like, meh, those two areas didn't quite join up that well, you can just select that again. Again, I'm just going here with the lasso tool, making a selection. We're going to click on generative fill and I'll just click on generate there. I don't even have to type anything in in this case because it's kind of like understood that I just want to fix that area. So it's basically just going to regenerate and the hope is that it's going to kind of just clean this up and make it look a little bit more cohesive. And there we go. It did a really good job. So there, let's go ahead and zoom out. We can see our subject looks really good. Let's group those together. There's our before and our after. Really, really cool. Now, in this next case, we're going to go ahead and zoom into our subject. She looks really cool. I like this photo a lot. Um, just the shirt is a little bit like informal. Maybe we want something that's a little bit more fancy. So let's go over here to where it says select subject. We'll just do that again. Fantastic. Now let's use our lasso tool, L for the lasso tool, hold alt or option. And we're just going to minus out again, just like we did before. We're basically just minusing out our subject's face and her arms, right? Like we want to keep that from the original photo. 
the only thing that I really want to generate is like clothing, just new clothing here. There we go. Let's minus this out as well. Go ahead and minus that out. And I'm going to try to keep as much of her like arm as possible and her face. You know, you don't really want artificial intelligence to generate new like, you know, new faces and things like that because uh, it's just going to look like a different person. All right, there we go. And let's click on generative fill. And we're just going to type in dress again. You can type in literally whatever you want here. Oh, it kept a little bit of this area right down here. Well, we'll see what it does. <laughs> That's the cool thing with AI is it just kind of figures out like, hey, what would look the best in these different scenarios? That looks awesome. Wow, cool. All right, great. Yeah, I, I really like this first one. It looks like, like, yeah, it looks much fancier. <laughs> so here's beforehand, we just have like a kind of an oversized white t-shirt, which definitely is a cool look. Um, but here in the after, we have a much more fancy image and I think it kind of fits our subject a little bit better. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead to our last example here. Now, in this case, I think our subject looks great. This dress is super cool. There's nothing I want to do to the clothing here, uh, except for I want to remove this little strap. So we're just going to go ahead and select that, okay? Now, if you want to remove something use, using AI, just click on Generative Fill up at the top. Don't even type anything in. Just click on Generate, okay? And it's going to know that you want to remove that object. So in this case, the subject's clothing, their dress looks really, really nice. I don't want to change their clothing, but maybe I want to kind of upscale this image a little bit. There we go. It removed that. Uh, let's see what we can do to add some jewelry. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to go ahead and select an area right around here. Perfect. And when I'm just going to type in gold earring. She has a little earring in there, but I want to make something that's just like a little bit larger, something a little bit more of a uh, of a statement piece. And again, we don't have a ton of control over what type of gold earring that it generates, but, uh, you know, that looks really good. And if it doesn't look really good, if you don't like the first thing you get, just click on generate right over here and it's just gonna type in something else. If you don't want something a little bit more specific like a hoop earring, um, you could type that in. There we go. That's beautiful, look at that. It even did the shadow on our subject's skin. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and do this again. I wanna just select right over here, okay? And on this side as well, trying to give a little bit of extra space. There we go. And we're just going to type in gold necklace. There we go. If I can spell it correctly, gold necklace. So basically I'm hoping that the necklace is going to kind of come over here and then be, you know, underneath the dress and then kind of like finish up over here on the other side, doing them both in the same selection. So hopefully it generates like one continuous gold necklace and that beautiful, right? Like in the sunlight here and then kind of in the shadow there. I think that looks fantastic. All right, and then let's just go right down here to the very bottom and we're just gonna select an area right over here. Again, trying to like not really select the dress too well and we're just gonna type in here gold bracelet, did I spell that right? <laughs> it's always difficult to type live on camera. All right, gold bracelet and see what it gives us there. So in this case, we're not doing much to the clothing itself. Um, we're just kind of trying a few different uh, pieces of jewelry, just kind of like scale this up a little bit. Let's click on generate there. Um, you know, make it a little bit more fancy than than it was when it started. Maybe we put like a gold, um, there we go. That's, that's kind of nice actually. Yeah, that looks good there. Let's see if we can put one more here. We'll just do like a gold, Cool. We'll type in gold arm cuff and see what that looks like. Or a bangle, I don't know. <laughs> it did a really good job with this necklace, honestly. It looks 100% real and it's cool that it kind of continued it back over there too. Yeah, gold arm cuff. Uh, let's click on generate one more time and see what it gives us. This is cool, right? Adding jewelry to a photo just makes the subject look, I don't know, fancy now she's wearing a bunch of fancy gold jewelry i kind of like that one i think that totally works for this image so let's go back to our layers we'll just go ahead and group all of those and then show you the before and the after so we removed this little strap here from the dress then added this gold jewelry and boom we have a beautiful image with gold jewelry
So we can see how changing clothing can make a huge impact on your photos. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click on that big thumbs up. Much appreciated. Thanks so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.